Easter is right around the corner, so I thought we could paint some eggs. <laughs> eggs. I've got white eggs, I got brown egg, I got green egg, and then I have more of the same. I have no idea how I'm gonna hold on to these. I have painted eggs before. I'm guessing 2019 was the last time I did it. I posted it on my Instagram, so I I can check the date on that. This is what they looked like. They were florally and I had a lot of fun. I used Posca pens for those. That might actually, why did I get out gouache? Posca pens might be the way to go, <laughs> but we'll see. Well, I've got some like teeny tiny brushes, but sometimes brushes are annoying because you know, they're squishy and Posca pens are more solid which I like. I would, I feel like some goals for today, it would be nice if they all kind of went together in some kind of theme, maybe color scheme wise, I'm not sure. I have a feeling even if I try to make them go together with a color scheme, they're gonna end up not looking that well put together. So we might as well try, right? <laughs> but yeah, these are um, wooden eggs, probably cheaper than real eggs at this point, but they last forever. So there's the benefit. So that's actually added risk. These have to look good because I might keep them forever. Anyway, we're definitely gonna go florally. So let's uh, jump into it and see what happens. Do we start with something simple like mm. Although I feel like stripes will be really difficult to maintain. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm thinking. I don't have a super plan, obviously. I have several different plans just running around in my head. Ooh, what if I use my kneaded eraser? And just like create a stand. That's actually really solid. <laughs> I'm starting with the green one because it, the set came with three green eggs. So if we mess it up, I still have two more of them. Now, obviously we could paint the whole thing. Honestly, it would be cute to just paint a little green shell on him and then make him a dinosaur. Another idea is my florally idea. So you know what I'm thinking? I think I want to start just to like familiar, familiarize myself with painting this uh, round canvas. What if we just kind of start, actually the Posca pen might work better for this. Don't mind me. I kind of want to just try and do a polka dot egg because I think that's going to look really cool. <laughs> kind of equally sized polka dots. I got to try and make them equally distant. Equidistant. Hey, that's a big word. Equidistant. Equidistant. This is calming. I feel like that's the one thing about like, I never really liked like those stress coloring books or whatever because it's like, I can think while I'm doing that kind of thing. You know, I can even think while I'm talking and stress myself out. So it's like, that's not that helpful to me. I mean, even this, I'm like, ooh, if there's something stressing me out, I, I'm still well aware that 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 thing is stressing me out. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. But my brain is always going. Always. Oh no, those aren't quite lined up. <gasps> I didn't say it was always useful. All right. We're drawing dots on a green egg. I'm filling those little gaps as well. Okay, making it around. It's gonna be a very simple one, but I think when it's like next to some of the eggs that might take a little more time, it's really gonna just fill in our little basket, you know? Now, are these ones dry? They're not quite, I can see that the very centers are still a little wet, so I don't really wanna touch that yet. Even this is taking a long time, so I don't know what I'm in for, to be honest. Although I saw some designs that were really pretty where they just like put like a couple little florals in like one little corner. So it just like sits there. So we might have to do some of those because I'm also a bit of a lazy person. <laughs> kind of think I need to wait for this to dry. I don't wanna, if we just set it on here instead of squishing it into it, we'll be okay. I'm so tempted to finish it. Patience, patience. For the white eggs, I'd love to do one with like blue on it, like the Polish pottery stuff. There's also like this Polish style of painting eggs. I forget what it's called, but it, you like use little dots and then you like create designs in that way. I don't think I have the patience quite yet for that. L look at, this is where we're starting from. <laughs> hmm, should we start with the brown egg? Then we could put like green leaves. Let's try and mix a color that looks similar to that so that we can stay in the color scheme, you know? So a bunch of white, some green. Ooh, that's really close. I think that's good enough. I don't want to like spend forever on that because it's really close. Then we can do like leaves on here. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> we're just going for it, clearly. But I was thinking these were leaves from a flower. Maybe I can sketch the flower with this pen thing. I didn't quite line up these guys with that. Maybe if we throw in another smaller flower here. Oh, the composition! <laughs> Don't like it. What am I doing? We need some pink. I'm gonna throw that out there. We need pink. Working on it. We're working on it. Just kind of keep layering it till we figure something out. 
So you know what I need to do? Ah! I'm throwing paint everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I have a unused needed eraser. <laughs> I found this blue guy and a green one. These don't have any graphite absorbed into them. So they won't leave marks, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> what about the blue one? Yeah. Hey yo. Okay, back to her. I feel like we need also like a darker green. Is this drying already on me? Jeez, slow down. I mean, I'm a very unpatient person, but even that's too fast for me. Don't ask me what kind of flowers these are. <laughs> They're just pink ones. I'm trying to think it more of a composition since that's where I messed up the first time. I think if I just add some more, maybe we'll get somewhere. In the center of that we can add in a flower. Maybe I'll start with just red and then we'll go over that with something lighter. Kind of the opposite of what I did with that one though. But I still want it to be more pastel than that. Add some stems. Start layering some like lighter. Oop, there's too much water on that. Okay, this one, there's too much water on it. I'm gonna just set it to the side while we work on this because he's pretty much dry. And I also need to get this needed eraser off of him. Oh no, that might be the best that's gonna happen there. <laughs> but let's cover it with some polka dots. Yeah, shoot, it exploded on me. We're having one of those days, I see. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna get to the point where they're gonna start connecting. This might get a little confusing. Let's see, maybe one right here. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> empty space here, but now it's too busy, so we'll just, this is the ugly side, clearly. That's fine. Everyone's got one. We only need like one more dot, like right here, and we're done. There's our polka dot egg. He's kind of cute. Let that dry. All right, let's take a look back at this guy. Definitely needs a little more pink. Maybe just like some straight up white. I think I need to plan a composition <laughs> before I just start throwing on paint. I'm also not crazy about the color scheme. It's a little janky. Ooh, that's kind of helping adding some white. It's kind of cool. Not crazy about the stem anymore. So let's add some more flowers in there. Polka dots. I mean, it looks kind of like a flower. Got a, a flower vibe. <laughs> I feel like the green needs to be darker, to be honest. Maybe a third flower? What about one like up there? I don't know. I like to mix it while it's still wet, kind of doing like a, a globby technique. There we go, at least they kind of look like similar types of flowers now. <laughs> but what do I do with the rest of it? <laughs> Here's what we got so far. Definitely a globby flower, but I mean, it's an egg. <laughs> Give me a break. Maybe I'll put that one to the side while we consider another plan. Did want to try and do one with this, with like, you know, that like porter, sort of pottery blue sort of thing. Probably just use that straight from the tube. That's convenient. Okay, I don't really like this kneaded eraser. This is the Prismacolor one. I think the more you use it, the more squishy it probably would get. <gasps> the blue one leaves spots. Okay, don't use the blue one on the white egg. <laughs> nope. It's actually leaving egg on the kneaded eraser. Use this guy. Hey, I like this paintbrush. So let's clean that guy. Get all the pink off of it. And then we just grab some of this blue and let's try and be dainty with it. Some of this sort of stuff with some uh, lines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something like that. About something with like three little guys. Ooh, look at that dainty little line I did. Woo! There we go. Dainty line, dainty line. Ooh, here we go. One of these guys. More like a daisy shape. This might be one of those things where it's just like, if you can cover it with enough of it, it might look good. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of giving it a pattern. It is looking cool. I love the color scheme with the white and the blue. That's just... Mwah! Do a heart. What patterns do I not have? Oh, do I don't have one of those guys. I could do the more daisy-like guy. 
Mmm, how's that one? I think the whole might be my favorite so far. Although it's really messy. I wish I had a smaller brush. I just, I thought about my nail art brushes, but I also would just rather if I had a teeny Pasca or something, cause then I wouldn't have to worry about like the size changing. <laughs> cause that's where I'm struggling. Anyway, I think I need to set this one aside while it dries. Do I want to do anything else to this guy? I think the worst part of this would be that it's, um, the colors are all kind of just too similar in saturation or something. Tone maybe? That's what it is. Like, I don't think there's really anything I can do about it at this point in time, but it's something to keep in mind. We obviously didn't have that problem with the green egg because it's green and then I did white, which is the most contrast you can possibly have there. I don't think I really want to change that egg anymore. The white ones are just more egg eggs. I don't really care about the green eggs, even though this is like one of my favorite colors. Maybe because I think it's pretty on its own. I don't know. But let's do our pastel flower on this because it will definitely show. Oh yeah, see that's so pretty. A little bit of a darker in. It's maybe some like petals just kind of blowing in the wind. Let's try this other green. Just try to keep this a bit better composition wise, shall we? <laughs> this is cute. Just little flowers. <laughs> just like keep adding them all around, I guess. Little red dot in the center. There we go. Okay, I think that's about as much as I can do until it's dry. Let's jump back to this one. Let's try a rose. By rose, I mean like a bunch of sprigly blobs. Okay, we're getting real close to finishing this one. The roses are kind of the easiest one to do. <laughs> so I keep doing them. It's hard to see what's already here, but you know, you can never go wrong with another rose. And then we need to just fill in this little area. Woo! Okay, wait, what's dry and what isn't? So I know where to put it down. And then I want to continue this all the way around the eggs. Isn't that gonna be pretty? I'm so excited. I just wanna like make it all the same all the way around. Just continue our little way around here. What's cute too is like the circle ones where you're like just a dot and then we'll add the little center. Maybe a bigger one down here. We can also have some random petals kind of floating in the distance. And don't forget our little red bloops. Let's add some green. My dad, just a little leaf. Okay, this might be my favorite one. It looks like bed sheets, but I love it. Okay, can't really put this down. So I guess we're here. You want to do a Q and A? <laughs> just kidding. Is everyone excited for Easter? I am. I'm very excited. My family does this really special first meal of the day of Easter, and it's like it's basically horseradish soup. It's a white borscht. Oh, it's like my favorite meal of the entire year. I literally think about it the whole year, but you only eat it once. Okay. Hey. All right, what else do we want to do? Do we want to try and continue this around the egg? Although it's looking better than I remember. These three all kind of go together. This one's a little bit of an outlier. What other ones do we have left? We have two greens. I like the white eggs the best. Why'd they give us three greens? Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just try and draw a big pink old flower. Let me find a reference of one so that maybe I have more control. I'm gonna try my nail art brushes. I want to do like a bigger one. How many petals are we putting on this? So if we angle it, we can add a darker section. Hmm, this looks kind of cool. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I guess it was kind of similar with all of them. I really like the little dot flowers. Honestly, if I just did that all around and created a layer of that, and then we went around again once it was dry, and maybe added in an extra layer of all the colors just to make it more interesting. So basically I've got several different versions of pink on here. So as I blob it, you kind of get a slightly different color every time. And I'm thinking if I go around and do that all the way around, and then once it dries, do it again with something similar, but maybe mostly lighter or mostly darker then it'll be even more interestingly detailed. It's a bit of a simpler idea, but I think it's gonna look really nice. I like the white ones the best. I like the ones with smooshes of white. Ayo. Okay, now I just have to hold that till it dries. Well, luckily the gouache dries really fast because this looks done. Oh, I love this one. She's so pretty. But yeah, I'm fixing a darker version now. I'm just gonna add variation to the blobs in like swirly shapes. Kind of makes them look more rosy. I feel like it needs something else. Maybe just white. You know what I could try? This paint pen. Just add like something, something else. Ooh, yep, that was the missing piece. Cause then it brings it into the same color scheme as that one. I like the dots better than the 
starbursty shapes. But since I have some of each, I kind of have to spread them out. Yeah, I think that made a big difference. Because now it's just got like a little extra pattern to it. Like obviously there's nothing too precise about it, but at the same time, it's pretty. And like, I think that's kind of how patterns work. <laughs> Once that dries, I can put it down. Mostly dry, I'm gonna be able to set it in there. All right, we got two eggs left. Do I feel like painting these? I don't know what to do with this one because he's just so orange, you know? Let me try our Pascas. Yeah, see that doesn't really, ooh, these are really easy to use on this. It's not, there's not enough contrast there. What about one yellow? That one shows up a little better. Now on eggs, you can actually kind of use Copic markers. Um, hmm, kind of looks like watercolor almost. And it shows up real nice. And look at all the control I have. It's at least a little bit more control. <laughs> I might go do like a daintier, ooh, yep, I can. Like a viney thing. Put a little too much. It's looking like a fern now. It just kind of looks a little messy. Let's see if it comes off. It actually doesn't. Hmm. What about with uh, acetone? <laughs> ooh, it's actually taking, <gasps> look, it's lightening the egg. Oh, that's so much nicer. I hate this orange color. <laughs> Although now it's really sticky. Doesn't even look that different. It's just sticky now and smelly. <coughs> what if we start with this? Add in a couple little flowery things. Eh, I think I've reached my patience for the day. I mean, maybe if I did that all the way around, it would be kind of cool, but I don't like it enough to do that. So we'll just give it a good, ah! Pour it all over my hand. <laughs> Here. Like it never even happened. You know what I could try to do? Redo that on this golden egg. Ooh, but line arty vibe. See how much daintier and like it's kind of cute it is. Just kind of continuing the squiggles. I like these things the best, so let's try and keep a lot of those in here. Doing another one of these. Okay, we need someone to stick in right here. How about a big old daisy? Ooh, look, we made it all the way around. There's just a couple little openings. Ugh, it's really hard to draw in this shape. Ah, oh, hey, there's that one. Okay, that looks really nice. I would probably do the same thing on the green since it's not white. We've done six and we have one egg remaining. I kind of want to do my dinosaur idea. I feel like he'd be sitting in a shell. So we'd have to draw the bottom of the shell in here. Got to color that all in with paint. And then we just coat the whole thing. We actually need a bigger brush. Actually, this one might be really nice for this. Well, you can't see anything, so I'll just get back to you. <laughs> Try faster! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if we draw a little dino face. It'll probably look a little... Let's start... Actually, I want to cover black. That's too big. A little one. Beautiful. So we'll give it an eyeball, another eyeball. It's a little, a little too thick actually for what I want to do. Wait, wait, what about this guy? We'll give him some nostrils. <laughs> and a real smile. And don't know if that looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> this is a fail. You know what might be helpful? Give him some cheeks. Oops, wrong side. I'm trying. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, huh? Does it look like a dinosaur? <laughs> I don't know what I don't... Oops. Multiple disasters, multiple disasters. No! That one didn't happen. See, this is why they gave us three green eggs. Anyway, here's our finished eggs. They're all dry now. I think these two are my favorites, which is awesome because they kind of go together. So you can kind of set them next to each other. Ooh, gross, looks like I'm dying. But you can set them next to each other and they look so nice next to each other. And then you have these two, which don't really go together, although they have similarities. And I like the blue one better just because of the colors, but I like this one better because it's daintier. But otherwise, especially from a distance, these two look really good. And then there's this one, which I kind of tried to replicate the one I did back in 2018 or 2019 or whenever that was, but I don't remember how I did it. So that's what we ended up with. <laughs> and then we have the first egg which was more of a proof of concept to see if I could actually draw on the egg. And I was able to get all the way around and I found that strategy out. So there we go, that's all my eggs. Here we go, I painted all these eggs, what do you think? Which one is your favorite? I already told you which one's mine, so.
I'm interested in hearing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a very happy Easter. And I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.